I think I see some. We're out walking along a creek and I believe we have some right up here. And we do. These may have sometimes called the hog apple, the turtle apple, the duck's foot, the wild lemon, the ground lemon, and the raccoon berry. So the scientific name for this plant um, it comes from Greek and it's Podophyllum peltatum. It's a really fun name to say. It's actually one of my favorite um, Latin names from around here in the plant world to pronounce. So podo means foot, phylum means leaf, and peltatum means shield-like. So basically what that name means, it's a leaf that looks like a foot, but it also looks like a shield. This one right here. Oh yeah, those are beautiful. And then one thing that I've noticed, as you can see, Angie is on a plant that has two leaves. The May apples only bloom on a plant that has two leaves and they bloom at the axis of where those two leaves are. If you go to a single stem, which we'll do, you'll see there's no bloom. And any of them that have the single stem, there's no bloom. May apples, they live in a colony like this. And often when you come up on them in the woods, you'll see a ton of them at a time because they can reproduce in two different ways. They can reproduce underground through rhizomes. They're like really big root systems. And they can also reproduce through the fruit, which are eaten by a lot of different animals, but especially box turtles. The turtles, the box turtles, really love to eat these fruits. Speaking of eating, don't want to eat this fruit. I can tell you firsthand, if you do, you're going to need a lot of toilet paper. This whole plant is poisonous. Every bit of it, the stem, the flower, the leaves, the roots, and the fruit. Some say you can eat the fruit. I don't recommend eating the fruit. The fruit also is poisonous. As well, but... This plant is actually very valuable when used as doctors, uh, synthesized as a medicine. It's currently being used as a cancer treatment drug for chemotherapy. Uh, Native Americans also use it as medicine, but we will leave the magic of this plant up to the doctors and herbalists and the professionals. That's probably enough for today. We hope that you can find some time to get outside and explore and maybe find something like the May apple. And we look forward to seeing you again on our next video. See you for now. Tennessee River Gorge Trust is devoted to preserving the Tennessee River Gorge as a natural sanctuary for our community today and for generations to come. They accomplish this goal through land protection, education, community engagement, and good land stewardship practices. To learn more about the Tennessee River Gorge, please visit the website at trgt.org. And a special thanks to Miller & Martin, the In Our Nature sponsor.